What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you as always for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Carl Thomas and I post all kinds of videos giving help and advice to DJs. In today's video, we are going to be comparing Mixcloud and Soundcloud, two very well established online platforms where producers, DJs and musicians post content from DJ mixes, podcasts, radio shows, mashups, bootlegs, and also as well their own productions. We're gonna be covering off everything to do with price, what you get for your money if you choose to subscribe. We're also going to be talking about which platform is best for the type of content which you wish to upload. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so kicking things off then, money. What do you get if you subscribe to either one of these platforms? Now, the great thing with both Mixcloud and Soundcloud is they both offer free profiles, okay? You are gonna be fairly limited in, to, in terms of what you can do with a free profile, but the offering is there. So first and foremost, Mixcloud. Now, I think their free offering is pretty generous. You can upload unlimited amounts of content of any length to a fairly basic profile on Mixcloud for free, which is great because you can then start to build your fan base, you can start to build a bit of a following on there, and you can keep your profile pretty fresh with new content. You don't need to delete anything to make room for anything. You have an unlimited amount of storage space, which is pretty good. If you choose to upgrade your profile to a subscription or paid model, that's gonna cost you nine pounds a month, but for that, you do unlock a fair amount of extra features, including live streaming. So if you want to live stream a DJ set or a live performance, you're going to be able to do that with the paid model. You will also be able to schedule future content. So if, for example, you want to upload three pieces of content a week, you could do that all on a Sunday night, one to go out on Monday, one to go out on Wednesday, one to go out on Friday. If you have the free option, you can't do that. On the paid model you'll also get all of your engagement statistics so you'll find out how much of your users are listening all the way through your mixes uh, where do they drop off at certain parts of the content and all of that stuff and also the biggest thing and this is a fairly new um, feature is that you also have the opportunity to monetize your content so what this means is that you can actually get paid from your users that subscribe to you. How this works is a user pays a subscription fee to you. I think the minimum is £2.99 a month, and then you get a portion of that. To be quite honest, unless you have a large fan base, you're probably not gonna make a great deal of money from this. If you're really well established and you've got a big audience, then this could be a great option for you because then you get paid for uh, the content that you produce and put up onto the site but you are going to need a, a large audience to get any kind of large sums of money from that. But nevertheless, it's, it's a pretty nice feature if you do um, subscribe and have the paid model. And also you can customize your profile a lot more in comparison to what is included on a free account. So a whole range of features if you choose to upgrade your plan to the paid tier, but nonetheless still great for free because of the unlimited, uncapped amount of content you can upload to the site. Moving on to SoundCloud then, of course, like Mixcloud, you can have a profile on SoundCloud for absolutely free of charge, no need to pay. However, unlike Mixcloud, which allows you to upload an unlimited amount of content for free, on SoundCloud you will be limited to just three hours. So if you are uploading regularly and you want to keep your profile fresh, as soon as you hit three hours of content, you're gonna need to delete older stuff to make room for your new stuff, which is a little bit annoying if you start to build up a bit of an audience, start to get good amounts of play counts on some of your older stuff, you're probably going to want to keep it on. So. For that reason, when you hit three hours, I personally think that's when you need to start thinking about subscribing to one of their plans. In terms of subscription models, it's very similar to Mixcloud. It's 10 pounds per month. Mixcloud is nine pounds per month here in the United Kingdom. However, 
The benefit of SoundCloud is if you decide to bill annually, so paying upfront for a whole year, you pay £7.50 a month. That's how much the cost works out to be if you pay once per year. In terms of some of the features that unlocks, you know, with this subscription, you get the unlimited uploads, um, which, you know, as, as I mentioned just now, you don't, you don't get with a free profile. You also get discounts on things such as Splice, which is not available on Mixcloud. So if you are a producer, you can take advantage of that. Um, you also are able to monetize your content as well, a little bit like Mixcloud. If you start to get a big uh, following on your profile, you can start monetizing content. You get the statistics, the engagement statistics, um, and also as well, the added bonus of SoundCloud, which you don't actually get on Mixcloud, is you can unlock your content for download, so your users can actually download your tracks. On the free plan, you're capped at 100 downloads per piece of content, but if you pay for the subscription, that cap is removed and it's unlimited. And then also as well, you get um, the scheduling feature that you get on Mixcloud with the paid um, subscription as well. Okay, so we have covered off costs of both of the sites and they are pretty comparable. Now let's talk about when you would use SoundCloud and when you would use Mixcloud because I know that DJs use them in quite similar ways, but actually the websites are designed very differently and have very specific uses. Mixcloud is designed specifically for DJ mixes, radio shows, and podcasts. So if you record a mix, that's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever it may be, you can upload that to Mixcloud with no hassle, no drama, and that is a place for you to almost store all of your DJ mixes for your audience to listen to. You can build up a nice bank of DJ mixes on there. The great thing with Mixcloud is that they've got all of the licenses in place, so it means that you can play music that you have purchased from any artist around the world, and you can put that into a mix, upload it to Mixcloud, and you'll have no fear of any kind of takedowns or anything like that. During this pandemic as well, it's become a very popular platform for live streaming and live shows. SoundCloud, on the other hand, many DJs use it for uploading mixes, uh, radio shows, podcasts, exactly how I've described for Mixcloud. They also use it to upload bootlegs, mash mashups, remixes, and also their own stuff. However, SoundCloud is not designed for this purpose. SoundCloud does not have any kind of licenses in place to allow a DJ to upload a mix containing other artists' music. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen to your mix or your piece of content that you will upload, but every time you upload a mix, a mashup, an unofficial remix to SoundCloud, you run the risk of getting a takedown warning or a copyright strike on your profile, unfortunately. It may not happen immediately, um, it may not happen at all, but you do run that risk. I remember back in the day, I used to upload to SoundCloud really regularly. I used to subscribe as well, I had a paid account, and I used to upload mixes absolutely fine, no problem, and then one day, I went onto my profile, I had loads of emails from them, and about half of my mixes unfortunately got triggered by the algorithm and they got taken down because I had music from other artists on there. Now, I'm not saying that that will happen to you, but by uploading any kind of mix by any kind of artist that isn't you, you run the risk of that getting taken down. And I would not want that happening to you, especially if you've paid for a subscription and you've built a fan base because it can be really, really disheartening. So I would not recommend it. The same goes for if you're uploading or producing sort of unofficial remixes, bootlegs, mashups, that kind of thing. Loads of DJs do it, but you do run the risk of getting it taken down. So be warned. And if you do want to just upload DJ mixes, Mixcloud is going to be a better option for you. So what is SoundCloud used for? What is the point of it? And it's really a producer's tool at heart. If you are producing your own original stuff, perhaps it's getting signed by record labels and you've got the rights to that piece of music, 
then upload it to SoundCloud. That is what it's predominantly used for. Many new artists get discovered by uploading their original stuff onto SoundCloud. Um, I know Laidback Luke, for example, on his um, vlogs, he actually does go through people's SoundClouds um, and discovers artists this way. So if you own the rights to a piece of music, by all means, SoundCloud is the one for you. So there we have it guys, two very well established websites and the differences between them. If you're a DJ looking to upload your mixes, radio shows, whatever it may be, Mixcloud is going to be the most hassle-free option for you. If you're a producer and you own the rights to the material that you want to upload, SoundCloud is the one for you. Of course, you can, if you wanna take a gamble, upload your DJ mixes and things like that to SoundCloud, but, you do run the risk of takedowns, copyright strikes, all of that. I really hope that you found this quick guide useful. That is a very quick comparison. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you had issues with SoundCloud before? Maybe you've been like me and had your mixes taken down and it's completely like ruined all of your profile and, and your audience numbers. Let me know in the comments. I'm really intrigued to know. Hope that you found this video useful. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did find it useful, it really helps this little channel out a lot, and I will see you in the next video.